Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we have discussed another important in reaction mechanism. Okay, so which is a coordination uh, reaction mechanism. So base conjugate base hydrolysis. In previous lectures, we have discussed about uh, like acid hydrolysis. Okay, now let us discuss on the base as well as a conjugate base mechanism. Conjugate base mechanism. So uh, in previous example, CO and H3 pi times X here plus 2. So in presence of a basic medium, that means OH minus. Now here the X is replaced by the OH minus. X is replaced by the OH minus. The plus 2 is common. X minus is removed. X minus is removed. So this is the simplest representation of a base hydrolysis. Simplest representation of a base hydrolysis. In previous in previous reaction, so acid hydrolysis, that means uh, over there OH2. H2O is uh, replaces. H2O replaces. Now in basic mechanism, like a base hydrolysis, OH minus is replaced by the uh, uh, leaving group replaced replaced on the leaving group now here x is the leaving group oh minus is entering a group entering a group okay so now according to the kinetic studies now the rate of reaction rate of reaction is directly proportional to the like a cons, uh, concentration of the reactant okay so this is the reactant complex again uh, as well as oh minus concentration oh minus uh, concentration okay in this context here uh, reactant complex uh, here it follows the first order kinetic now here with respect to the nucleophile that means uh, oh minus uh, it it follows the first order kinetics now overall the reaction is overall the reaction is two that means a second order kinetics okay so now here second order kinetics it, it follows the associative mechanism so this is our assumption whether it is right or wrong uh, let us check okay now here according to the uh, kinetic data associative mechanism okay according to the our assumption okay it's not the complete kinetic data so associative mechanism that means here it follows the sn2 mechanism sn2 mechanism now here cobalt nh3 five times x so here OH minus cobalt NH3 5 times OH as well as X that means here plus 1 okay so coordination number is a 7 associative mechanism is nothing but a coordination number increases okay so then followed by the like a cobalt NH3 5 times OH over there so X minus is eliminated X minus is eliminated in this associative uh, associative reaction contest here the concentration of OH as well as OH minus as well as X both will be dependent okay so but originally so rate constant uh, here the complex as well as OH minus concentration here only one is dependent why because here uh, instead of OH minus they used the like a very strong basis like a NCS minus NO3 minus NO2 minus like a CN minus such type of complexes they were used again these all strong nucleophiles they, those are strong nucleophiles even though strong nucleophiles are uh, the concentration of the these type of nucleophiles does not affect on the rate of reaction does not affect on the rate of reaction that's why so here it not follows the associative mechanism it not follows the associative mechanism is it clear now generally rate concentration here it depends on the concentration of reactant as well as OH minus but uh, instead of OH minus we use it like a strong basis like NO2 minus and CS minus CN minus now we will get the uh, like a, these are unaffected on the rate, rate reaction that's why so these are not follows the associative mechanism okay so instead of a uh, base hydrolysis uh, like SN2 mechanism now uh, Garrick scientist name is Garrick he was suggested an alternative mechanism that is nothing but conjugate base mechanism conjugate base mechanism so this is very important topic for CSAR and uh, gate exams okay conjugate base mechanism SN1 CB so here it is the conjugate base mechanism so now conjugate base mechanism involves in three steps now I'll explain the uh, uh, step by step very clearly here it is plus two okay so now in first step in first step the proton transferred from one of the ammonia ligand one of the ammonia ligand 
and OH minus. Now what will happen here OH minus will obstruct the proton then it becomes H2O. Again one of the uh, coordinated site of ammonia will lose their proton then it becomes NH2. Okay is it is it okay? Now here five ammonia so among the five ammonia so one of the ammonia lost their proton then it becomes NH2 minus that is uh, like uh, if NH3 is a uh, uh, neutral one and now here the loss of a proton then it becomes NH2 minus that is nothing but a conjugate base conjugate base if addition of a proton it will give the NH4 plus this is conjugate acid this is conjugate acid now here one of the ligand will becomes a base that is nothing but a conjugate base that's why it is called as a conjugate base mechanism here x is a remain that means here cl is remains cl is remains now here oxidation state decreases this is the first step this is the first step now here first step here it is a equilibrium reaction first step is equilibrium reaction now in second step co nh3 four times nh2 cl NH2 Cl. Here uh, Cl minus is a leaving group that is uh, like uh, acid or base labile group. Okay, whenever we use the acid or base, so it is a, uh, it is a leaved, then it is called a labiles. Okay, so here it is a acid labile group. In a very slow step, it is a very slow step. Now here it forms the NH3 4 NH2. Now sorry, here it is plus one. Now it now it becomes plus two. Cl minus. So in this step, uh, like a leaving group uh, eliminated, leaving group uh, eliminated, it is very slow step. So we know that a slow step is nothing but a rate determining step. So second step is rate determining step. Now in third text, third step, NH3 four times NH2. Here, which is treated with a water molecule, which is treated with a water molecule, our conjugate base, one of the ligand site, one of the coordinated site of the ligand, will abstract the proton from H2O, will abstract the proton from H2O, then it becomes NH3, that means cobalt NH3, in previous time, four times, now here, it, it is also becomes NH3, that's why it becomes NH3 five times, NH3 five times, now here, the loss of H plus, it becomes OH minus, OH minus now here plus 2 here it is plus 2 okay so plus 2 remains plus 2 remains as, as usually plus 2 remains as usually so in these three steps uh, which gives the information about a conjugate base mechanism in first step it is the equilibrium reaction second step a slow step once it creates the like a vacant site of octahedral now easily approaches the water ligand which is very fast step okay in these three steps we'll give the information about a conjugate base mechanism conjugate base mechanism so several times they are asking about a conjugate base mechanism indirectly okay recently 2016 2016 december so in conjugate base mechanism like a proton abstraction or such type of questions are like susceptible in first step what will happen second step what will happen so second step complex is you know, uh, among the following which one is the second second step complex such type of questions uh, regularly came in CSIR okay so that's why conjugate based mechanism very important okay now we'll go through the like a uh, how they are uh, evidences for the conjugate based mechanism as well as uh, what are the factors what are the features uh, about uh, uh, conjugate based mechanism now let us discuss one by one now here uh, first of all we will go through the features Okay, now the first point here, uh, so Ka means acidic hydrolysis, Kb means uh, basic hydrolysis. In same reaction, we will go through the acidic medium that that means uh, that's, that having the lower energy. Okay, so but uh, in, ca in case of we used, we will go through the basic mechanism. It is very faster reaction, million times faster than that of uh, acidic hydrolysis. Okay, so due to the, it's a uh, acidic uh, basic constant value, basic equilibrium constant value. Okay, now note that point. So basic hydrolysis is a million times faster than that of uh, acidic hydrolysis okay so now the second point is here it forms the amido complex that means a uh, amido complex that means it is a conjugate base complex conjugate base complex here it is the conjugate base is it right or wrong conjugate base complex so in previous complex uh, oxidation state of the complex ion is plus 2 now here oxidation state of the complex ion plus 1 so lesser the charge on the complex lesser charge on the complex enhances the rate of leaving group rate of leaving group is it right or wrong 
so this is the second second feature uh, for the uh, provides the dissociative mechanism for, for provides the conjugate based dissociative mechanism in third step uh, here the formation of emido complex the formation of emido complex here it means the nh2 it having the lone pair of electrons which is connected to the cobalt complex okay so that cobalt complex uh, which is having the leaving group now these uh, these lone pair electrons will pulls towards the will forms the pi bond with the metal atom so this leads to the elimination of leaving group this leads to the elimination of leaving group so emido complex uh, will forms the pi bond pi bond with the metal atom that will helps to eliminate the leaving group that so the, these three factors uh, will use the slow step as a rate determining step so second step uh, as considered as a rate determining step okay now we'll go through the same mechanism in uh, octahedral structure manner same mechanism i'll explain uh, in octahedral structure okay so now here cobalt okay so now here Cl, NH3, 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 NH3. So this is the octahedral complex. Is it right? Okay. So in first step, uh, uh, when we use the base, here one of the ligand, one of the ligand will abstract the proton from the water molecule. Then it becomes a conjugate base. So now that conjugate base, uh, according to the NMR spectral data, so trans to the leaving group amine having the more acidic. So more acidic. 100 times more acidic than cis to the leaving group okay now these two protons are uh, these uh, these four protons are cis to the leaving group now this is the uh, trans to the leaving group so trans to the leaving group uh, it is uh, 100 times more acidic than that of cis to the leaving group according to the proton and amount data okay now here that's why here it closed the proton then it becomes a conjugate base nh3 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 NH3CL. Okay, so this is called a conjugate base complex. Conjugate base uh, complex. Okay, so in this context, uh, conjugate base complex in the formation of NH2, here it, it it provides the elimination of leaving group. So now we discussed in previous case, uh, three cases. First, KB is greater than KN. In second step, uh, here the formation of Yemido, uh, in the formation of uh, Yemido complex, okay, so that will help to eliminate the Cl minus group in the form of a plus one oxidation state. Why? Why? Because here it is plus one, here it is plus two. Now, third step here the formation of Yemido group, here it forms the pi bond with the metal atom, then it eliminates the leaving group, eliminates the labile group. So, okay, now here it forms the like a NH3, NH3, NH2, NH2, here NH3 here nh3 okay so this is the like plus two complex this is the plus two trigonal bipyramidal intermediate trigonal bipyramidal intermediate so conjugate base mechanism follows the trigonal bipyramidal intermediate if it is possible i'll make the another video on stereochemistry of conjugate base mechanism okay now here we use the water molecule which replaces the vacant site of uh, vacant site now here in this context here h plus and oh minus is present now our conjugate base will abstract the proton again vacant oh minus will attack over the vacant site now it becomes now here it forms the oh now here it is also nh3 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 okay so this is the our complex this is the our like a final complex now we discussed some of the evidences of uh, like a conjugate base mechanism the first is first mechan uh, first step is first point is so here first step it follows the equilibrium constant okay so the proton exchange between the water and ammonia is equilibrium so that gives the information about uh, there is no elimination of uh, like a leaving group in first step okay so it proceeds uh, it gives the information about it follows the sn1 base sn1 conjugate base mechanism now the uh, isotopic effect isotopic effect it will also gives the information to forms the complex through the sn1 sn1 cb mechanism now we use the like water heavier water instead of a, like normal water so we will get the like a h2o plus oh minus this is the like auto ionization reaction ma manner so now we will get the this type of oh minus okay so isotopic effect uh, will, will also explains the like uh, evidences for the conjugate base mechanism conjugate base mechanism now the third evidence is so here the formation of a uh, sn1cb mechanism so the third evidence is a steric crowding steric 
crowding. So whenever we use the ammonia ligands, uh, which is a normal uh, SN1CB mechanism, instead of ammonia ligands, we use the alkylated ammonia. It enhances the rate of SN1CB mechanism. So if uh, alkyl groups are increases, steric crowding is more. Okay, if steric crowding is more. So that uh, that uh, that will helps the uh, more and more reactivity towards the SN1CB mechanism. Okay. So the fine uh, the point is steric crowding enhances the SN1CB mechanism. Not only steric crowding, sometimes chelation also uh, chelation also helpful to proceeds the like SN1CB mechanism. Okay. So SN1CB mechanism it follows the dissociative manner. So this chelation effect will gives the information. So SN1CB mechanism follows the dissociative manner. Okay. Let us assume so chelated complex uh, now here it is intermediate is chelated complex that means it is a very steric crowding okay so in case of association it cannot allow the new ligand okay if it allows the new ligand that uh, rate of reaction very slow rate of reaction very slow so that step here the chelation enhances the rate of reaction that means uh, here the association reaction does not take place dissociation reaction can only take place these these two steps uh, will info, will use the information uh, sn1cb mechanism follows the sn uh, like like a dissociative mechanism dissociative mechanism now let us go through the another important points on sn1cb mechanism now let us discuss the kinetic study of a conjugate base mechanism so it is cynh3 5 times cl okay now here like a plus 2 in presence of oh oh, oh minus it forms the conjugate base conjugate base cl2 like cl oh sorry here nh3 four times nh2 cl here it is a plus 1 OH2, OH2. So according to the rate constant, rate constant that means concentration of product by concentration of reactant. So this is the conjugate base. So now let us assume it is a conjugate base. Now concentration of OH2 by the concentration of complex CO NH3 5 times Cl plus 2 and concentration of OH minus. So now we need a conjugate base. Conjugate base is equal to K into cobalt NH3 5 times Cl plus 2 OH minus by water molecule so here water is independent and now concentration of oh minus is dependent so cb is equal to k into co nh3 5 times cl plus 2 into oh minus okay so in this final reaction that is a second step so the conjugate base will become so co c nh3 4 times nh2 here loss of the cl minus so this is the slow step the slow step is nothing but rate determining step now here rate determining step will give the information about a rate r is equal to r is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant in the second step it is the reactant conjugate base is the reactant so the r is directly proportional to the conjugate base whenever it converts into uh, equilibrium is, is equal to now we will get the k, some constant k so here it is r is equal to k into b r is equal to k into b here it is the small k okay now i substitute the conjugate base value in this equation number one okay so now we will get the r is equal to k into so this is the value conjugate base so this is small k now here it is here, capital k into cobalt nh3 five times cl plus two oh minus oh minus so this is the reaction okay now so these these value let us assume the water molecule does not uh, eliminate it okay let us assume that these thing all considered as kb CO NH3 5 times CO NH3 I think 5 times CL plus 2 OH minus okay so these these equation will give the information both reactant as well as OH minus will depends on the like a uh, rate constant will depends on the rate constant now with respect to the complex it is first order reaction with respect to the OH minus it is first order reaction overall it is a second order kinetics overall it is a second order kinetics okay second order kinetics according to the previous uh, previous assumption it follows the dissociative mechanism okay so according to the kinetic studies it is a second order dissociative mechanism not the second order associative here it is a second order dissociative mechanism so it seems to be sn2 but it follows the sn1 that's why so it follows the conjugate base mechanism it, it, it is nothing but a conjugate base mechanism okay now let us discuss some of the examples not only co nh3 5 times here so some of the other examples also gives the conjugate base hydrolysis reactions
Now, the another example is cobalt, ethylene, diamine, two times, so Cl2. Okay, so here it is plus. Okay, so these complex will give the two types of isomer. One is a cis isomer, another one is a trans isomer, another one is a trans isomer. Now, here my ethylene, ethylene, diamine, ethylene, diamine, NH2, NH2. Okay, so here it is the complex. This is cis complex, another complex is a trans complex. Cobalt, here Cl, here Cl, ethylene, diamine, NH2. NH2, NH2, NH2. So this is the trans complex. So in first and second complexes, so according to the like a Cl1, Cl2, according to the proton NMR data, proton NMR data, so trans to the leaving group a main having the hundred percent, hundred times more acidic than cis to the leaving group okay now in this context cl1 which is a trans to the nh2 this group which is a trans to the cl1 leaving group now here it is also trans to the cl2 leaving group now these two having the more acidic so more acidic proton containing complexes readily react that means more reactive more reactive now here cl1 opposite is cl1 there is no proton so that's why cl1 adjacent having the cis protons only now cl2 adjacent having the cis proton so this is a slower the reaction slower the reaction so according to the proton nmr data so among these two cis and trans complex which one is readily reacts so the first one absolutely first one readily reacts the like sn1 cb mechanism okay sometimes they are susceptible the such type of questions among the following which one which one follow or which one obeys the like a uh, conjugate based mechanism which one obeys the conjugate based mechanism co cn5 times uh, br iodine minus 3 co cn times 5 times like a uh, uh, chlorine minus 3 okay now co pyridine 5 times cl minus 3 okay such type of complexes in the, in um, among all the complexes there is no like a uh, interchangeable proton that is there is no acidic proton there is no acidic proton so if in, in, in absence of acidic proton there is no possibility to formation of the conjugate base mechanism if conjugate base cannot be possible so that uh, those reactions cannot give the conjugate base hydrolysis reactions conjugate base hydrolysis reactions now the minimum condition for for, for giving the conjugate base mechanism so it having the at least one acidic proton at, at least one acidic proton either cis or trans it doesn't matter both will give the reaction but trans is a uh, predominant than that of a cis one okay now, let us discuss the very important example in conjugate base mechanism that is cobalt tran ammonia cl plus 2 complex so here it gives the two types of isomer tran means uh, uh, triethylene tetramine that is a uh, tetradentic ligand now here it is a one monodentate one monodentate total overall coordination number is six okay it gives the two types of isomer so cobalt now try try in the complex like this nh2 nh2 here it is nh3 here it is a cl nh2 okay now here it is one ethylene another ethylene the third ethylene like this okay so this is the cobalt tetran ammonia cl ligand so overall charge is plus two overall charge is plus two now again uh, it shown the another it gives the another isomer so the same complex ammonia nh2 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 okay so this is the complex uh, one ethylene two ethylene like a uh, third ethylene okay three ethylenes one two three four amines that is a triethylene tetramine now here cl here ammonia okay so this is the this shown the red color so this shown the purple color so these two types of isomers are available uh, uh, in uh, cobalt tran and h 3 cl complex okay now these two are proceeds through the sn1cb mechanism which gives the different types of compound uh, different types of products now here so red isomer uh, it, it having the trans to the pro, trans proton to the living group trans proton to the living group now in case of uh, like a purple isomer there is no trans proton okay so that's why it is a lesser time now here it is the first isomer here it is second isomer so first isomer 10 to the power four times faster than second isomer in conjugate base uh, hydrolysis okay first isomer 10 to the power four times faster than that of second isomer now so in first step h2o that means here the conjugate base formation chlorine opposite to the nh2 group that is a trans so it is more acidic in nature that's why here the elimination of a proton that means a conjugate base formation now here nitrogen nh2 cl 
nh3 nh2 okay so this is the complex this is the complex in first step in second step okay so second step here the elimination of a leaving group that means it is a slow step now here it forms the like a tetrahedral intermediate tetrahedral intermediate Nit nitrogen nh nh2 nh3 this is the tetrahedral intermediate sorry not tetrahedral it is a like a trigonal bipyramidal not the tetrahedral okay it seems to be trigonal bipyramidal intermediate so now we use the water molecule as a like incoming one here our nh minus will obstruct the proton then it becomes nh2 and the remaining oh minus will attack over there now here it forms the such type of complex nh2 oh here nh3 n nh2 nh2 so here it uh, it becomes original one okay now n n Three ethylenes. So this is the product. This is the product. It is a hundred percent product. So the first time someone will give the hundred percent product with the retention of the configuration. Retention means uh, original. So the leaving group position occupied by the incoming one. That is retention of the configuration. So first isomer will give the retention of the configuration. Now, so in in case of a second isomer, what will happen? The second isomer here it, it, it is also gives the conjugate base cobalt n nh2 like a nh3 here cl nh2 here which is a cis2 chlorine cis2 chlorine it gives the compound but uh, slower the rate but slower the rate now here it is the amido complex so in second step uh, the elimination of a uh, cl minus that means a uh, leaving group is eliminated now here it forms the like a trigonal uh, bipyramidal Mighty trigonal bipyramidal mighty NH3 NH3 sorry NH2 here N here NH2 here NH2 here only NH okay so this is the complex okay so this is the trigonal bipyramidal mighty now so when we use the OH2 minus as a incoming ligand so here it is possible for formation of the OH2 again here it is possible for the formation of OH2 in back side of the plane okay now here it gives the first product that is a similar to the previous one NH2 OH NH3 okay this is a similar to the previous one NH2 N okay so this is the similar to the previous one it gives the 85 percent but uh, uh, another isomer also formed in the second complex so here it forms the oh here it is nh3 nh2 nitrogen nh2 nh2 okay so this is the complex so here it forms the 15 percent of complex 15 percent of complex now let us give the final conclusion about these complex first complex 10 to the power four times faster than that of the second complex in conjugate based mechanism okay again first complex it having the trans to the leaving group acidic protons okay second complex there is no trans leaving group protons okay so that's why it is a lesser the rate of reaction now another point so here red isomer will use the hundred percent retention of the configuration this is the retention of configuration product but uh, second isomer will give the two types of product two types that is mixture of a product uh, so 85 85 percent uh, previous one so 15 percent new isomer okay so this is the like uh, overall uh, reactions about uh, hydrolysis of uh, conjugate based mechanism okay now in in previous uh, uh, recent synthesis uh, not only nh protons uh, sometimes uh, pyridine attached uh, ch2 protons also gives the like a conjugate based mechanism now here it may be it is a pyridine like a such type of complex here it is chlorine so i did not write the overall complex now here it is ammonia it is the complex that means here it having the two protons here it having the two protons so such type of protons also gives the conjugate based mechanism according to the 2003 advanced synthesis okay so sometimes uh, such type of questions are also maybe possible to ask the csir net exam okay so this is the overall reaction about a conjugate based mechanism okay if it is possible i will make the some other problems in next video thank you for watching